everybody, Dr. JJ Levine, and today I'm going to be talking about the five simple things you can do to lower your cholesterol. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing what cholesterol actually is, the foods that you should be consuming on a daily basis, as well as the foods that you should be in avoiding, the types, the best types of exercise to do to help with your cholesterol ratios, the best essential oils, and the best supplementation. So let's get right to it. What I'd like to share with you is cholesterol has gotten a bad rap. It's not as bad as you may think. Did you realize that a quarter, 25% of your nervous system, all the nerves, the brain, the spinal cord, so on and so forth, is made up of cholesterol? If you didn't have cholesterol in your body, your body couldn't function properly. So because the nervous system is 25% cholesterol, if you're a person who is taking cholesterol-lowering drugs, then you're actually causing dysfunction, if not damage, to your brain and nervous system. Pretty serious stuff. And it doesn't stop there. There's also hormonal issues, there's muscle cramps, and decreased liver function, just to name a few things that a person can experience as a side effect when they take cholesterol-lowering drugs. Now, cholesterol literally is a waxy substance and it's found in every single cell in your body, not just the nervous system cells. And the body uses cholesterol for many reasons, but specifically for repair. So what happens is the liver produces cholesterol and it sends it to different body parts via its circulatory system, so our arteries. So let's say you've got a lot of inflammation in your body. Let's say it's in an artery, for example. And that inflammation will cause irritation, which can actually cause damage to your body, or in this case, an artery. So what your body's gonna do, your liver's gonna produce cholesterol, it's gonna send it through the arteries, it's going to send it to that area of damage, and it's going to put cholesterol there. But the problem is, if you continue to have inflammation or stress that's causing the body to have these issues, then there's going to be a continual amount of cholesterol that gets sent to that area. And it can cause scarring and it can build up and it can build up till it actually causes the blood vessel to get thinner where less blood flow can occur. And then the person is more prone to heart disease. So this is something of course we don't wanna see. Now there's different types of cholesterol. Everybody wants to lower their cholesterol, but realize certain cholesterols you want higher and certain cholesterols you want lower. We've got HDLs, which you want to keep high, and LDLs, which you want to keep low. Now, most people, especially that are used to eating a Western diet, which is very inflammatory, which causes inflammation to the body and stress to the body, most of those people are going to want to or need to increase their HDLs and lower their LDLs. So this is the foods, these are the foods that you're going to want to incorporate in your diet on a daily basis. Some foods that you're going to want to have to help lower your LDL are vegetables, especially those green leafy vegetables. And make these organic, guys and gals. If you can get organic, even better. So organic green leafy vegetables, fruits, especially the berries, your raspberries, your blueberries, your strawberries. These are great to add to your daily smoothies. This way you're gonna get this. Chia seeds, flax seeds, uh, green tea is phenomenal, turmeric, garlic, cinnamon. Man, I love cinnamon, and cinnamon's a great thing that you can add to your smoothies as well. Avocados and sweet potatoes. Now here's some foods that you're gonna to wanna to avoid. When you go to the supermarket, you might've heard this before, it's best to go to the outer aisles of the supermarket. That's where technically the better or the healthier stuff is in most layouts of supermarkets. The stuff in the center typically are your processed foods, the foods that are in boxes and bags. And in most cases, you're gonna to wanna to avoid those. Definitely avoid your processed foods. You're also going to want to avoid anything with added sugar, of course, avoid or eliminate completely alcohol, uh, canola oil, and processed meats. Stay away from processed meats. These foods are going to increase your LDL cholesterol, that type of cholesterol that you want to keep low. Now let's talk about natural ways to increase your HDL, the type of cholesterol that you want high. The secret, if it really is a secret, is you've got to move, you've got to exercise. But the way you exercise is critical. 
I like people to do interval training. Now, you don't have to go out and buy an expensive gym membership. This can be as simple as taking a walk, one, two, or even best, three times a week. And you don't have to walk for hours and hours and hours. Walking for as little as 20 minutes will help you see the benefits that you're looking for to help get those ratios right in your cholesterol. Now, when I say interval training, I mean this. Let's say you're going for a walk. For the first few minutes of the walk, three, four, five minutes, kind of warm up and walk at a slower and gradual pace. But after about four or five minutes, lift up the pace, go into a, a light run, or if you're able to, if you've built up to it at this point, get into a jog. And if you're really healthy, bring that into a sprint for about a minute, for about a minute. And then after that minute, bring it back down to a nice gradual walk for about a minute or two or three, and then bring it back up to a jog or a run. And you do this for about 20 minutes, three times a week. This is going to have the best effect at lifting those HDLs, that interval training. And also I like when you change up your exercise a little bit. It doesn't always have to be walking. Time, sometimes bring in some swimming or some bike riding, or if you have access to an elliptical machine, kind of change it up a bit. The body likes new challenges and it likes to adapt to those new challenges. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is essential oils. You've heard me speak about essential oils before. Essential oils are the oldest natural healing system, pre-biblical times, not to mention being mentioned in the Bible. There are many oils that you can use for many things. And when I say oils, I always recommend USDA certified organic oils. There is a difference and we have many, if not most of the organic oils that you need. Now, the oils that you want to look specifically to help with cholesterol is first cinnamon. You heard me mention it before about taking cinnamon bark and adding it into your smoothie. I love the smell of cinnamon in my diffuser. I think it goes back to the days when I was a kid and I would make cinnamon toothpicks. I'm dating myself. Does anybody remember those cinnamon toothpicks? But cinnamon oil is incredible. Organic cinnamon oil has compounds in it that are very similar, they act in a very similar way to statin drugs, the drugs used to lower cholesterol levels, but the best part is unlike statin drugs, they do it naturally and they don't have those side effects. And I said, I love the smell of cinnamon in the diffuser. Let me know in the comments down below, by the way, what's your favorite essential oil that you like to diffuse. Now, some other oils that I would recommend you looking at to help regulate and support a healthy cholesterol levels would be rosemary, clary sage, lemongrass, and lavender. Now, of course, whenever you're diving into essential oils, be careful it's right for you. You know, if you're pregnant, if you're breastfeeding, and so on and so forth, there's certain oils that you should use and certain oils that you shouldn't use. So you're going to want to look at that. Now, lastly, I want to talk about supplementation because supplementation can play an integral part in balancing out, normalizing those ratios, those cholesterol levels. First and foremost, you've probably heard it before, start taking your omega oils. And at Asante Organics, we've got an incredible blend of omega-3 oils. It's got your omega-3s, 6s, and 9s. Great, great product. But also, if you haven't added this yet, I'm gonna highly recommend Asante Organics Super Sprout Sterols. Now on a molecular level, sterols look a lot like cholesterol. The body actually has a problem differentiating between the two. So when you're consuming cholesterol and they travel through your digestive tract, they can prevent real cholesterol from being absorbed into your bloodstream. So instead of clogging up your arteries, which we don't want, that extra cholesterol just goes right out as you eliminate uh, you know, with your waste, it's gonna go right out. Now, sterols have some other benefits above and beyond helping cholesterol, but studies have shown that sterols can help your cholesterol levels literally lower your LDL levels by as much as 14%, that's huge, but they also do marvelous things for your entire immune system. So your sterols are something that you're gonna to wanna to be taking on a daily basis. And I'm gonna recommend that you take your sterols first thing in the morning, maybe even before you brush your teeth so that you have an hour before you actually even consume any other food. So those are my thoughts for today. As always, I look forward to sharing again with you real soon and reading your comments down below. Bye-bye everybody.